Some customers around 3 a.m. last night? Mm-hmm. Did anyone come in at that time? Let's see. Actually, if I remember correctly, there were just the kids from next door singing karaoke. They bought some cigarettes and a few cans of soda, I think. What did they look like? One guy was wearing glasses with brown hair. There was a girl wearing a black skirt and another guy with a crew cut and a green shirt. These two beverages are the pride of Pine Ridge. We have our famous Royal Jelly Cider, and this is our Lizard Cooler. Not only do these drinks supply every essential nutrient, they also heighten sexual vigor. You're gonna love it, Detective. Uh, oh, Richard, you made it. I can't thank you enough for coming all this way. Nah, it's my pleasure. Rachel, Conan, it's good to see you too. And Serena, dear, would you be so kind? And All right, Richard, no harm done. Let me introduce you to the others. This is Sergei Ovchinikov, the first secretary at the Russian embassy. Hey, kids. You're done? That wasn't long. That's right. I heard you all were the ones who found the victim when you stopped by. Yeah, it was quite a shock. Hey, is that the cup found with the victim? Yep, sure is. So, uh, is that all of the broken cups? Of course it is. You know, nothing would get past these eyes. Well, bye, kids. This new era they keep rambling on and on about is a load of crap. The era when pirates dream of treasure will come to an end? Yeah, right! <laughs> what are you talking about? The dreams of pirates will never end! Go! If you stay on this island, you'll die! Take my raft and go out to sea! But what about you? He's got me, little lady. I'm afraid this is the end. Hurry! No! Everybody I care about is here! Now you listen to me. You may be lonely at first, but one day you'll find true friends! The Great Kanto Desert. During the day, the temperatures soar above 120 degrees in the shade. At night, it takes a nosedive well below freezing. These ruins are from a forgotten civilization, one that fell under the weight of its own thoughtlessness and greed several hundred years ago. They're here now only as grave markers for the lost promise of those who willfully destroyed themselves. Strike! It's all right, it's all right. You got the next one. Come on. Strike! Strike! Ball! Sweet Tango's blown himself up, Mr. President. You can stop the operation. Yes, sir. We've already made all the necessary arrangements. Oh, God. You're not saying Sweet Tango would have blown up all that money, are you? I suppose I am bound to return kindness with kindness. It is a principle by which we all must live. And to tell the truth, I've never really liked his methods anyway. Who's that? He is. The Dark Lord, of course. He conspires in the shadows, never directly involved in any dark deeds. Those are his methods. Even as we speak, he has begun to brew trouble in the ancient capital that lies to the east. A promoted hacker, huh? You haven't discovered another throwaway pawn for us, have you, Commander? As long as he doesn't get his head blown off, I'm fine with it. <laughs> a practice match is just over the horizon. Although it may seem like a small thing, it will inexorably affect the lives of the team and everyone around it. Soon, their individual and collective destinies will be altered. So best of luck, Leroy High School. Best of luck, Kojiro. And of course, best of luck, Goro Tanaguchi. I heard you beat up Oshida's brother the other night. Both of you relax. It's not a big deal, and I'm sure he had it coming. But the petty quarrels and infighting in this family are beginning to draw a lot of unwanted attention. So no more making waves. We're all gonna get along and be a family. We clear. Number 13. You do understand the reason for this summons, do you not? While the assassination of Rudman was a success and his facility was destroyed, the living weapon he brought into this world still walks among us. 
We have reports in our possession that suggest you allowed this weapon to escape. Mm. Yes, both divisions are doing well. Wait. What is it, sir? It looks like someone's decided to go off on their own. Jake, who is that? She's a bit behind the others in terms of skill. Interesting. She's performing quite well, nonetheless. Rachel, it's good to have you back. I must admit I've been a little worried because there's been nothing but bad news coming in regarding the Flying Pussyfoot. As president of the Daily Days, I am honored to have employees like you. My request is something I wish you to accept at any cost. <clears throat> it, it concerns the match to be held uh, September 24th inside the castle walls. Please do not force the swordsman to use real blades. I beg of you to stop. You're right, business is booming. But body disposal isn't the most productive work we could be doing. If people could just solve their differences with conversation, the whole world could get more done. If only. Uh, <clears throat> Live killing is still the easiest way to solve a problem. Yeah, as sad a statement as that is. Let me ask you something. If you have that much disdain for it, then why do you do this work? Because you can't support a family and ideals alone. We all do the best we can. Well, goodness knows they used to. If you didn't know better, you'd have taken them for mother and daughter. But then, well, Minoto had been commuting by boat to the mainland for middle school and high school. But her aunt forced her to drop out. Why was that? You don't need an academic degree to run an inn. Is that what Mina wanted to do? Quite the opposite. In fact, I felt sorry for Minato, so I spoke with her aunt to see if I couldn't talk her out of it. Long story short, I couldn't. Now, BTA's not your average perv. Yeah, not like the two of us whose undercover cover as homosexuals blossomed into true love. At home, Ken and I are big fans of role play, so let's try some here showing how to avoid abduction. We'll need someone to play the shady killer with the dark and tortured past. Who wants to get kidnapped? How about you, Strawberry Cupcake? after their fiercest warrior. This will disguise you, give you courage, and honor their doomed race. Also speak bad Spanish sometimes. It will really confuse the heck out of them. Are you wussied out already, Jill? What the hell are you doing here? On your feet, kid. The only person who's gonna kill you is me. Out of my way! An excellent point. On our end, the conflict with ISDA was the result of a seam and his officers acting on their own. We're having trouble controlling him. You can't control Prince Asim? But doesn't he command your entire military branch? He most certainly does not. I can assure you that authority on all matters ultimately rests with me. I promise you that from this moment on, the Gillard Army will support the ISDA with every resource available. This is their manager. Look, I don't need to know their names. Just fix the problem and do it quickly. Ghosts? I don't believe it. It's nonsense. What will the board of directors say when they find out I hired ghost chasers to handle this? Well, Yasu, you are one of our best students. I trust you're on top of things. Mr. Matsuyama, would you please show them to the conference room? <laughs> Look there. A beautiful view, isn't it? You should take a moment and drink in the incredible scenery. It will be the last thing you ever see. You've made quite a feast of our need. So how did our humble country taste? <laughs> Goodbye. Take your medicine now. See you soon, Miss Shiryuki. Okay. Feel better, Yoshi. I never had any intention of stopping the Grand Ceremony, Kareya. Only your ambition. I'll tell you something else. If this little girl doesn't work, we're fully prepared to use Mayumi. You can't! It seems to me I can do whatever the hell I want, Father. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it, is there? Wait! Please don't do this! It's a temporary patch job at best. 
You're gonna want to take it to an actual repair shop when you get to the city. Thanks, Pucho. So, how much do I owe you? Forget about it. Do unto others and all that, right? Hold on. You're planning to cross the pass tonight? No way. Too dangerous. But there's nowhere to stay in this village. If you don't mind keeping a boring old couple company, my wife and I'd be happy to put you up for the night. General! What happened? We lost all contact with the advance team that was sent down to search the tunnel. Shortly after, Smith's horse returned. It came back with what we assume was his arm. Just his arm? Where's the rest? It's still missing, sir. And his horse can't lead us back. It's too terrified to be of any use. Go on? Yes? Well, that's incredible news! I just got a phone call that your husband is all right! The Fuhrer is alive! <gasps> He's not badly injured, is he? They haven't informed us yet. We've only been told he's in combat with the Briggs soldiers at Central Command. Nicely done, Commander Mina. I guess you're in charge, right, General Maloney? Yes, I am. Here's a copy of the official transfer order. So, Commander Mina, as of now, this base is under the direct command of the 1st Strategic Airborne Assault Team. That's a mouthful to say, so we're referred to as Warlock. I've waited 44 long years for this day. I won't let you stop me. I will avenge my Elsa's death. I don't understand. Don't please, Doc. <laughs> he took my beloved daughter from me. And for that, I'll make him pay. The people of Colonus consider it a great honor to host someone of your eminence, Princess Dianela. Coming to the Argonauts' aid in a time of such great need is the very least we can do. Your vision will lead this galaxy to freedom. I hope I'm not interrupting your evening. My, you've grown into quite the beauty. I can see why our Prince Henry has taken such a liking to you. He has excellent taste. You look simply dazzling, Princess Fine. As usual, you are skilled in flattery, dear Lord Redford. His Highness received your letter. I believe he was moved by the passion in your words. Very well, then. If you insist on atoning for your actions in the past, then I hereby order you to live your life in the service of your friend, the human girl. You are lucky to have found such a loyal friend. I suggest you protect her with your life, just as she fought to save yours. I hope you have a safe trip home, Mommy and Daddy. You be a good boy now, Saizo, and make the Komiya name proud. You can count on me, Daddy. <laughs> hey. You're gonna open up the country or what? Hmm. Jeez. Japanese folks are so stubborn. I'm seriously tired of waiting. You're so pushy. We have our reasons, you know. Yeah, like whatever. You forced me to use my secret weapon. I have devoured five continents. I have slurped three oceans dry. The vast sky alone remains out of my long reach. For I am trapped in this body which lacks wings, hands, and feet. I am the World Serpent. I am Normangar. I am Mikako's father. I invite you to stay with us for as long as you wish. Oh, uh, she's sorry, really, really sorry. She's just a freaking idiot. Please spare her life, sir. Hey, no big deal. What are you all doing standing around? Hurry up and tend to our honored guest. How could this have happened? How could Megumi die like this? A simple case of anemia could kill someone so quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to do that. <laughs> She's a young girl, gone before her time. Please just leave her in peace. <laughs> it is not the signal giving you trouble. <laughs> I hung up upon my arrival. Coalition Flux Zarovi. Awfully rude of you, Howling Fang Bifrons. Rude? 
I am here at the prescribed time, as always. A lowly Jaeger such as yourself cannot fathom the greatness of my presence. My treasure tool, Tarnkame, grants me stealth, but only with constant expense of energy. How odd. Apparently a mysterious blast of light tore through one of our observation satellites. Um, you and your two other companions. It seems that all three of you were in Academy City without any form of identification. Would you happen to know anything about this strange event? No. All right. And that letter there? It was sent by one of the other foreigners, was it? I know you're anxious from waiting. You're eager to see for yourself how the boy is holding up. It might do him good to have a visitor. You lose, you have to scrub all the toilets in Kartoffel for an entire year! I accept those terms, young lady, but if we win, you have to start eating your carrots. Fair! Carrots are yucky! <laughs> Here, Daddy, this is for you. For good luck. Thanks. Do I get one, too? Yep. Here's yours, Kaiser. Ooh, we'll be unbeatable now! <laughs> A daily? Is that you? It's okay now. Grandpa's here. The young man with the large hair got in touch with me yesterday. I guess he must have checked around to see where I had moved to. One way or another, he was able to track down my number. But why, if he's such a bloody-minded anti-foreign zealot, would he bear his fangs against the government of his emperor? It's not our job to puzzle out the rationale of a man driven mad with devotion. The point being, he's in Shiga. I say ignore it. Let the police do their job. Ha ha ha! Swinging a sword to and fro is hardly a maneuver. Those were simply fundamental sword strokes. Although, without a sound knowledge of the basics, you cannot hope to master the more complicated techniques. Fundamental strokes are important. Hone them, Prince Arslan. Thank goodness you're awake. We were so worried. How do you feel? Are you in pain? Don't just stand there, dear. Examine her. Oh, of course. Good. Everything looks normal. <gasps> Unbelievable! So I'm okay, Dad? Well, your CAT scan looks just fine, and your EEG appears normal, too. Considering you were hit by a bus, it's a miracle you only wound up with a few scratches. Captain, we appreciate your assistance on this operation. Of course. It's a nice change of pace for us to have the opportunity to move a landing ship. The days of overseeing delivery of aircraft to battlefields are over. Now our primary duty is facilitating the maintenance of objects at sea, and to provide security and defense during those repairs, of course. The world is certainly a different place than the one I came up in. Before the towers were completed, researchers around the world were given various experimental coils ranging in size. They had a few different names, some called them beta coils, some called them microgates. But nowadays it's simpler. People just call them numbers because of how they look. Whatever you want to call them though, they're a big deal. Consider top secret collection targets 